These are assembly instructions to my hexagonal gift card holder. We're going to start with the six pieces that have score lines on the bottom, but no score lines on the edges. So I'm just going to fold down on the score line. One of the pieces only has one score line. The next piece has two score lines that are very close together. I'm using my Cricut Scraper tool to fold down on the second score line. Each score line at the base has the next score line just a little bit further away from the tab. So I'm just going to fold down on all those score lines. And then these are the little holders for our gift cards. So there are score lines on both sides and a score line at the bottom as well. I'm just folding down on all of those score lines for all six of them. In the file there are three hexagons that are cut out of the blue paper, so the larger ones. Two hexagons that are insets of the larger size. So I'm going to start with one of the larger ones, and I'm going to grab the panels with the score lines at the bottom. So I want to put them in order. This one has the largest distance between the score lines, and then this one is the next one in line. Then I have this one, that one, this one, and the one with the single score line. I'm going to start with the one with the single score line. So I'm just putting glue from the score line to the edge of my tab. I'm placing it so the corners of my tab are right on the corner of one side of my shape, like so. And then I'm going to grab the next piece. So this one has just a tiny separation between the score lines and I'm putting glue from the lower score line to the edge and I'm going to turn my shape 180 degrees and then put this shape directly across from the one that I've just done like so so these two shapes are across from one another so this is my piece with the one score line. I'm picking my next piece. The score line again is a little further away from my tab. I'm just putting glue from the score line to the edge of my tab. And then, so this is the one that has one score line. I'm putting the next one right beside it. And I'm just going to fold down so I can see my first score line and it's folded down on that second score line like so. Again, a little bit more distance between the score line and the tab. So I'm just putting glue on the tab. So from that score line to the end. And so I'm going across again from the piece that I've just put in. And just gluing that in. So next, I'm going to take the one, so this one has the smallest interval between the score lines. I'm going to put glue along the tab. I'm just going to glue it like so. And then my last piece. I'm just gluing that into position. So now I have these white panels that I'm just going to glue. I'm going to try to center them as much as possible on these panels, so from the score line to the edge. Now these just add strength and sturdiness as well as contrast. So now I'm going to continue gluing these panels down all the way around. So next I have my little pockets for my gift cards. And I find this is the easiest way to put them down. You put glue on that bottom tab between the score line and the edge of my piece. And then I can try fit it so that it's 
about there. That's about, I want to center it on my panel. So I've got my tab flipped upwards. I want it about there. So I'm just going to tuck it under my piece. And then, then I'm going to put glue on the tabs of both sides. And then flip my piece over like so. Well, it's not quite centered, but you get the idea. And I'm just going to continue doing that for all six. So next I have my decorative snowflakes. I cut these out of iridescent foil cardstock. And I'm just going to glue them down on every single one of my little pockets. Then I have my central snowflake. You could cut one of the smaller size hexagons and then just glue the snowflake on top. I think I'm going to go with just the snowflake like so. So I'm just going to glue all those snowflakes down. So I've glued down all my snowflakes and this panel is the one that has one score line. And I know the panel across from it is the one that has the smallest distance between those two score lines. And the reason why I did it this way is because once you start putting gift cards in those little pockets, they get a little bit thicker. So you have to have a little bit of allowance for the thickness of the gift cards. So the first one folds down on the score line, the second one folds down on that second score line. And then the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and then the largest distance is here, so that's the last one. So I know that that's the top one. So if you look at them from the side, that one has one score line, the one across from it, and so on and so forth. And that's just to give enough allowance for all those gift cards to be inserted into the pockets. So I'm taking one of the larger of the hexagons and I'm going to glue it on top of the panel that has the largest distance between those side score lines because that's going to be my top. I'm just going to put glue all over that top panel and I'm putting this hexagon. I want one of the sides of the hexagon to be just along the score line of that top panel like so. And that's what forms the gift card holder top. I have one, my contrasting color which I'm putting on top but I also have my snowflake. So I'm going to glue my snowflake to that top panel. And I also want to make my ribbon closure at this point. So I have some ribbon. I'm going to put some double-sided tape. The hinge is at the back. And I put some double-sided tape at the front like so. Put it about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. I'm going to release the backing of my double-sided tape. I want this more or less in the middle. So I'm using my craft mat to help gauge. So my ribbon should fall about here. And then I'm going to put more double-sided tape on top and I'm going to snip my ribbon a good six inches from the edge, like so. And then I'm removing the backing on my double-sided tape on the top and I'm going to grab my panel. I'm putting glue on the back of that panel. But I'm positioning it so there's an even border all the way around. My ribbon is nice and secured. Now I'm going to flip my piece around. So I'm looking at the back of my gift card holder and I'm going to put a piece of double-sided tape approximately in the center as well. I'm going to remove the backing from my double-sided tape. And then I'm going to place my ribbon on top to snip it off approximately the same length as my previous ribbon. So I'm using again one of the larger hexagons. I'm putting glue on the back of it and I'm just gluing it just over the edges. This one is edge to edge. And then, then you have the smaller hexagon which you just place in the center of the bottom, in the center of that panel on the bottom of your gift card holder. So now you can flip it over, make a nice bow, and it's done. So when you have it open, first one to close is the one that's at the right hand side of your top piece and then the one across from it and then the next one over and then 